guys, it's Moz here from Moz 6510 Models. And on the workbench today, I've got a bit of a, a tool review, or should we call it a workbench accessory, which is, it, to me, it, it, I think it's going to serve a purpose for what I think we all have got when it comes to Tamiya tape. Now, if you're like me, I keep all types of tape, Tamiya tape around. I've got these these big, massive masking tapes. I've also got the 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 six mil. I also keep in stock the ten mil, and I also keep in an eighteen mil range of Tamiya tapes. These are new, by the way. I've got them out of the stash because I can't find my ten mil one, and I want to use fresh on this little piece of kit here. So basically, I wanted a solution to having the tape to hand because at nine times out of ten, I'm forever looking for the 18 mil or the 10 mil or the six mil. I just want them in a position where I can just go ah, grab, bump, six mil, or if I need 10 mil, or I need 18, I can just do that, you know. And I was looking online and I saw this on eBay, and I kind of regret buying off eBay because I know how expensive eBay is um, for the seller. I should have bought this from the actual Ultimate Modeling Products website. There's plenty of websites you can buy it from, but I'll leave a link in the description box down below how to get this kit. So I think when you see it, you may even want to buy one. So basically, you get with it this 3D printed resin piece as a holder, and you can see by the marks there, basically, it's. Uh, they put a base on and then the 3d print goes forward and back forward and back forward and back and it um, you can see the layers there and it builds up the layers they also comes with this pin and it also comes with these like is it called circlips or c-clips i think they're called circlips and basically that goes through the holes and then you put this little circlip um facing out because it's got a it's got a really clever little piece there so you can put your finger in and that clips over and it keeps it pretty well secure. Not that you need to spin it anyway. And then when you want to pull it out, you get your fingernail in there and put it out. There you go. So let's put this all together now and just see how well it works. So basically it holds the, a 6mm, the 10mm and the 18mm all in one go. So let's take them out of the packages and let's see how it all looks. Right, so what I need to do now is just open up the tape and set the tape, I think. So if I take this out, and you get the tape out, and there you go. So it goes through the hole to there. That's good enough. There's the first one. I'm going to place him there. It's not too bad, is it? It fits quite nicely, actually. There's a little bit. Let me on. There you go. Now it, cl it actually clicks in. That's really nice. That clicks in. Do you see that? And with the 10 mil one, there you go. Let's put the clip on. There is, put that one in there. It should just click in. That clicks in nicely. And then you've got the last one, which is the, the 6 mil. And that slots in there like so. It's a little bit tight, but once he's in, he's in. And then you get your pin. Push him right the way through. So it all lines up. A bit fidgety, I think. Come on in, you get. Come on. Why not going in? It's a little bit fidgety to get it in. Come on. Oh, there you go. Cool. It's like, <laughs> just like an airfix kit. Or is it? No, that's a bit harsh, isn't it? I think I, <laughs> more, of a, more of a Mr. Craft kit. So put it on, clip in, and there you go. That is your tape all done so you've got your six mil in front of you and you just pull press down bang there's one piece let's do this one as well oh look at that fresh 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 blade fresh oh hang on there you go and there you are that's it all done very nice indeed yeah i'll tell you what i think it needs is some tamiya stickers so going to my little drawer some Tamiya stickers. Let's pimp this one out. I don't want to cover up the ultimate bit, so let's put Tamiya along there. Try and get it centre. That's perfect. Tamiya. If I fit them on the side. Oh, yeah. Drop it middle. 
There you go, tummy of that side. And perfect. Look at that. So I'll put tummy on the back, can I? Oh, look at that. There you go. Pimped out, that is now. And look at that. Tamiya, 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 Tamiya. There's no way. And I'm going to put that on my little board. And what I'm going to do is actually, I'm going to get a little, I'm going to actually get a little piece of this tape. I'm going to attach, chopping it there. I'm sure, I reckon. In case one of these breaks, or oh, I don't know what to do with this really. And there you go, I'll keep that little clip there just in case I ever need it. So there you go. So all I need to do is pick up the tape, pull it, and off the piece I need. Marvellous. I'm chuffed to bits for that. With a little bit of movement there. But that's not going anywhere, is it? That's really, really cool. So there you are. Ultimate Modeling Products Tamiya Holder. And I'll put a link in the description box down below so you can you can buy one if you want these. Because I say under a tenner, plus a couple of quid of the shipping, you're going to have a real handy little holder there. Brilliant. Thank you for watching. If you like the video, click like. If you haven't subscribed yet, please subscribe and ring that bell to be notified on any new videos. Any questions, any comments, put them in the box below and I'll do reply and I'll see you in the next video. Cheers.